Hey guys, Jeff here from Sir Amp Road to do an interior review on this 2020 Dodge Ram 1500. This is a limited by the way, so top, top, top of the line. It's actually unbelievable on the inside. You got this really nice stitching on the door, nice wood grain and whatnot. I love the wood grain on the, uh, on the steering wheel. It just feels nice to hold on to. You see like luxury cars, things like that, they're sometimes made of like carbon fiber and whatnot. It's pretty cool to see this in a Dodge Ram. Now, I don't know if you guys seen the Dodge Challenger video with the cup holders. Well, hold on a second. They outdid themselves in the truck because you got two in the door, two in the passenger door, that's four, two in the center console, that's six, two in the back of the center console, that's eight, two more in the center at the back, in the back seat, so that's 10, and two in each back door, so that's 12 cup holders and five seat belts. So each kid could have a water, a pop, and a frosty. Perfect. Not quite, uh, the math is a little off there, but you get the gist of it. 12 cup holders. The other thing I like too is this huge screen in the center, which is, I guarantee you the designer of this truck drives a Tesla because they're the only ones putting a huge screen in the center. Uh, and this truck looks amazing. I love too, like all the stitching, like they went above and beyond, like, this is crazy. This is a really nice, really nice interior looking truck. And you have leather up here, everything. I mean, you got a little bit of plastic, but not bad. You got a little, little piece of leather here, so you know, it's comfortable when you pull yourself into the truck. The other thing I really love is all these little added convenience things. Like, you have a wireless charger for your phone. You have two USB chargers. You also have an AC outlet down here. It's like, you could run like, um, this could be the mobile office if you really want. You can plug in your laptop, plug in your phone, charge it at the same time. Power lift gate. Oh, beautiful. I don't have to open it and hear that slam anymore. You can just press the button and open the tailgate. Unbelievable. All kinds of little storage compartments. Like, if you were a, in Scouts growing up, this is like your utility. Instead of having a nice utility belt with all these little pockets and whatnot, you got that in your truck. For when you go camping and things like that and doing outdoorsy stuff. Perfect. So they got. I guess it's a nice stereo, yeah, a Harman Kardon stereo, beautiful. I like the nice little uh, finishes, the uh, stainless steel looks like. This is, in my opinion, one of the nicest interiors for a domestic vehicle. Normally you see this quality interiors and in, you know, Mercedes, BMWs, and they're like the high end stuff. Like, this is, this is the next level, this is crazy. Hold on. <gasps> Does it have vented seats? The nice vented seats. Huge sunroof, that's really nice. The other thing I like too, that a lot of people, they don't know what it's for. Um, but these little things here are actually the microphone for the Bluetooth. For example, in my car that was put in aftermarket, it's like this little microphone that's all the way over there and people can never hear me talking and you're trying to yell into the phone. That's what these are right here. So it's right close to your face when you're talking, it picks it up, you don't have to worry about yelling. When you you have the sunroof open and you're trying to talk on the phone through the Bluetooth stereo and whatnot. That's cool. Uh, what else you got? So many little compartments. I love this. Let's check out the back. Now, same thing back here. Nice stitching everywhere. Beautiful leather. Vented uh, perforated seats. This is actually really nice for if you don't have perforated seats and you have leather interior. Long drive, your back starts to sweat, so this is a nice added feature here. A lot of people just don't think of that stuff and they just, it's kind of an oversight, but... Again, you got two more USB outlets. Again, a uh, AC outlet. More storage. And then you got some hidden storage underneath the uh, mats. It's pretty cool. This truck doesn't have it, but there is a Dodge Ram, they're called Ram boxes that are on the side of the uh, bed here. Makes the inside of the bed a little bit more narrow, but gives you a lot of storage compartment or space on the side, which is kind of cool. Another nice little feature that has nothing to do with the interior is these step boards. When you close the door, they go back up. All in all, I think this interior is beautiful. Like I give this, this interior a 10 out of 10. I want one. It's unbelievable. If you ever have the chance, go check it out. It's crazy, like just the amount of fit and finish that they put into this to make it look like really, really nice and luxurious. Again, I can't, like I said so many times, the stitching in the center console, the seats, like, this is really nice. Really nice truck. 